Hi, I'm David, and this is The Biology Classroom. In today's video, let me show you some basic guidelines of using a light microscope. Before viewing the slide under the light microscope, it is a good idea to place it on a white background and just use your naked eyes to observe it. I always do this to get a rough idea of what are the specimen's shape and colors, so I know what to expect later. You can also hold the slide against the shielding light for this purpose. Use the course adjustment knob to lower the stage. You should move it all the way to the lowest position before you start. Then, turn the revolving nose piece to choose the objective lens with the lowest power available to you. Now, you can switch on the light source, place the slide on the stage, and use the stage clip to hold it in place. Use the stage controls to adjust the position of the slide. Make sure the specimen is right in the center of the light source. Just use your naked eyes to check if the position is right. This ensures your specimen is right below your objective lens. You can now look into the eyepiece. Use the cross adjustment knob to bring the stage closer to the objective lens. Keep looking into the eyepiece and adjust the stage until you can see the specimen. It is usual that the image is not very clear at this point. Now, use the fine adjustment knob to fine tune the stage. The movement is very small and you won't be seeing the stage moving, so don't worry about this. Adjust the knob until the image is sharp and clear. If you are not happy with the brightness, there are two ways to adjust the light. Firstly, you can use the brightness adjustment knob near the base to control the level of illumination. You can also use the condenser aperture level below the stage to allow different amounts of light to pass through the specimen. Bear in mind that it is not always the brighter the better. Some specimens look nicer with better contrast when lesser light is allowed to pass through. You can now use the stage control to move the specimen around. If you need to enlarge a particular part, place that part in the center of the field of view. Use the revolving nose piece again to change to a higher power of objective lens. The structure you want to see will be in the center of the field of view, so you don't have to move it much. Now, use the fine adjustment knob to focus and create a sharp image again. You don't have to use the cross adjustment knob as you only need to have very fine movement of the stage. Eyepiece gratitude is usually provided in the examination. Apart from calibrating it for measurement, it is also useful if you want to work out the relative thicknesses of different layers. For example, when you are making a low power drawing, you can use the gratitude to help determine how much thicker a layer should be compared to another layer. By doing this, you can make a much more accurate plan diagram. If you think my videos are useful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Do share it with your friends as well. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me at the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.